Hello, my makeup loving friends. How's it going? It's been another week, so that means a week's worth of new makeup releases. With me, I have two new faces. They are my fabulous Patreons. Um, I have the lovely Callie, who, by the way, it is her birthday today. We gave her a birthday shout out last week to cover things, so you know, <laughs> she's now getting two birthday shout outs. It's greedy, right? greedy. How dare you? This is this is my thing, F you. And um, we have the lovely Tess, who is from the United States of America. So we're very fancy. We've got our <laughs> delegation. <laughs> I'm very fancy. And if you don't know me, hello, I'm Teresa. Welcome. I don't know what else to say. Um, we have some little general announcements before we get into the, the meat and potatoes and the thank yous. Mm, you can tell I'm a bit hungry. Mm, dinner. <laughs> anyway, um, first thing we have to say is Lois. You're fabulous, fabulous creature, you. Uh, if you can't tell, I'm wearing yes, the Lois palette right now. Our girl Lois sold out this wonderful palette, which is on my eyelids, in a minute, in a minute, she is restocking in May, so don't worry, don't have FOMO, you will get your paws on it, and it is worth waiting for, blends like Absolutely. every dream, it's beautiful, and uh, the thing is, you know, when you, when you look at indie brands, you kind of forget that there's a human being behind it, and you know, you, you hear about all these things, and it's just, it's really nice to see her having this success, because Lois is just, an annoyingly lovely person yep you know i am waiting for some skeletons to come out of her closet so i feel a bit more like she's a human being and not like just this amazing goddess that has just graced the earth but anyways a uh, very huge congratulations to lois she 100 deserves it this is what hard graft and a passion for what you're doing gets you so Yes, well done. Other little announcement, uh, a subscriber of mine, Pie of Pydonia, my lord, she is a, a girl with a bloody eagle eye. She was on Instagram and she stumbled upon uh, Pat McGrath's Instagram and it was a video showing some of their new items and she very correctly noticed there seems to be a little bit of the face tune, a little bit of the filters happening in their videos. Now that's a bit problematic considering this is essentially an ad for a beauty item. Makes it very difficult to determine, well, you know, is this necessarily performing? And it's kind of sad to see that from a brand like Pat McGrath. That's so expensive. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're resorting to that. So Pi said, I spy a filter, minor blemishes on chin and neck yeah. creases pop in and out of existence. Not cool from a brand advertising a product. I can only assume it's not good enough to show on its own. So obviously I have people to thank. You guys are always fantastic in tagging me and I'm getting a bigger and bigger list every week and it genuinely pleases me. So oh, you can tell I have to take in a breath from the diaphragm. like. <laughs> The actual the physical diaphragm, not like the birth control diaphragm, but you can tell I have classical music training. So let's go. Start. A big thank you to Brianna, Becky, Ali, Gillian, Matty, Gaia, Brogan, Shalina, Gina, Lois, Cheryl, Cecily, Tia, Tess, Sue, Kat, Missy, Franca, Shahina, Lisa, Daniela, Susie, Callie, Christina, Amina, Sarah, L, Chrissy, Massa, Crystal, Tony, Rebecca, Jade, Nisha. Charlie, Paula, Samantha, Jenny, Sophie, Beth, Sarah, D.Y., Heidi, Sylvia, Anna, Louise, Amy, Vicky, Rosie, Chris, and Pi of Padonia. As per usual, huge thank you to my Patreons. I mean, two of them are here tonight, saving my glorious bacon, because I was like, oh, I don't want to be alone, because, you know, that's when the thoughts hit me. And uh, anyways, they very kindly agreed to come on to R&R &R with me today. So big, huge, uh, mahoosive thank you. Also want to send a lot of love to our girl Kim, who has uh, just come out of surgery. And hopefully by the time this video is up, you might see that there's a little something from us. Because we love you. 
I mean, I was going to say that there's no birthdays this week except for me. And then Callie bloody turns up and I'm like, God. Yeah, but you'll do it, you do it like a week in advance. Yeah, so. I, do. I do. So actually, do you know what? It's all about me turning 31. That's fair enough. I know it's hard to believe with such a, a youthful appearance. The theme this week, I'm sure you're probably like, what's going on? I was like, it's my birthday. I can do what I want. So I decided the theme for this week would be our signature styles. So a style of makeup that we just think, yeah, I, either I'm really comfortable in this or this speaks to my soul. So this is what we did. And as per usual, with bloody Patreons. knocking it out of the park and, and leaving me with self-esteem issues. So thanks, guys. Happy right. birthday to you. <laughs> I appreciate the support and the self-esteem decline. So <laughs> it's it's great. It's very good. Um, but that's it. No more faffing around. We're going to get straight into the new makeup releases. This is I Heart Revolution and they're doing more collaborations with Disney. And this time it's with Ariel, who in my mind, don't come for me, is one of the more uh, anti-feminist princesses. That whole, I'll give up my family and my voice and all of these things uh, for a man I saw for five seconds. You know, she basically stalks him and infiltrates his life. I'm like, none of this is psychologically very healthy. So they have the Ariel Book Palette for £15, the Heart Highlighter for £8, and the Lip Topper for £5. Do you know what? This is not the worst of all of the ones that they've done so far. I do I mean, not like this palette layout. I hate right. it. Oh, I hate it so much. Yeah. But like, if you could rearrange it, maybe? I mean... And forgive me, because I'm sure someone's made this joke before. It's not exactly revolutionary. <laughs> it's like, love it. I'll yeah, get my coat. I'll get my coat. Sorry. That's it. Callie has peaked early on. Yeah. In the it's peak, peak. yeah, that's it. You get. I I make maybe one two jokes a year. That's about it. We're here. This is. I mean, that was wonderful. <laughs> you know what? It's not absolutely awful. Like, it doesn't make me want to scratch my eyes out, which is a change, you know, for a revolution. Because yeah. they are just so dull these days. The next thing we have then is Ofra, and they have their Mother Earth, hi Mother Earth highlighter. There we go. I'm finding it hard to pronounce things today. <laughs> it's all going well. And it's basically a highlighter that has a shift from a pink to a green, and it was all kind of released to for earth day that highlighter is 35 dollars i don't want to hear anything negative about it because i've already bloody bought it yes. i think this is nice and i mean yeah. Ofra, Ofra are always good when it comes yes. to highlighters i mean i look at it and i'm like neon green to pink i would never wear that yeah but i kind of want to try it so i can just swatch it I mean, I could you wear it as like an an, an eyeliner, eyeshadow. Yeah. Dry. Yeah. See, whereas I'm like, no, I will wear it legitimately. I'll wear the heck out of that. I love color highlights. Yeah. Oh yeah. Same. Same. I'm 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 far too. Sorry, right, Kelly. When I come and visit you, I'll bring it with me. Okay. Cool. That's yeah. fine. Or when you come here, whichever one, whichever one happens first. So I'm not opposed to this. I like it. I got tagged in this a lot and I know exactly why you bloody tagged me, ye whatever. This is Empress Me and this is their skin palette. Obviously, the pans. Everything about this is no. I also, no. I, I, know this is, I know this is not the purpose of the palette. I know this is not the purpose of the palette, but I have a thing about seeing puzzle pieces because puzzle pieces are used an awful lot with Autism Speaks, which is not the best. They don't represent people on the spectrum. And I know, I know this has nothing to do with Autism Speaks. There's nothing that says that it has to do with Autism Speaks. But for me, I look at that and it just, that's what it triggers in me. So I look at that and I just, I am like, oh no. It's boring. And also, can I just say, there's two shades in there that have like the duo colors, as in like it's part brown. Yeah, like stripy. Yeah, like, marbled. Yeah. I hate that. Don't get it. If you're going to do marbling, yeah. have it be for an interesting color. It's also <laughs> called the 
the skin palette. Yeah. Which is a bit a little bit like <laughs> it rubs <laughs> the lotion on it. <laughs> no. Yeah, I, I don't know. No. Do we remember a time when Anastasia Beverly Hills was like a big deal and like people who collected their stuff? I'm gonna put my hands up. I bloody did it, right? I'm not gonna be all like, eh, I was better than no, I did. I have every single pro palette they ever put out. <laughs> Same. And now I'm like, are you okay? What is happening? Last week it was those bloody face wipes, and this week it is. I'm just gonna call it a Neapolitan palette, right? <laughs> the best way to, to look at it they have their, their three in one palettes and it seems that they just have them in three different shades because they have a, a bronzer a highlighter and a blush here's the issue i feel like is anastasia does good face products mm-hmm. they kind of seem to have forgotten about that for a while because they went to the eyeshadow realm for a while but back when like the contour palette came out that was huge mm-hmm. um i still have that contour palette you know they do know how to do it The problem is, is one, not nearly enough of these palettes, right? You need more shade, shades in them to cover things, but you're charging how much for this? Really? Yeah. Come on. (laughs) Like, I think this is more expensive than the old contour palette was. It's partly price and then partly the shade range. Exactly. What? And yes, okay. There can be that excuse made of, it's very difficult to have an inclusive shade range. Yes, I get it, it takes work. However, however, there are indie brands with far less resources, the likes of Midas Cosmetics, exactly. Legal Cosmetics, etc., that do it. So that is not an excuse, and I am not accepting that. No, <laughs> yeah, I, my, no, my reaction awesome. to that is, try to be harder. Yeah. Yeah. You're a you're massive, a massive multi, company. Multi-million dollar brand you can if you if you can make your your foundation shade range as far as that there's no reason you can't do this with this we kind of sneak peeked or we talked about this at the beginning of last week's episode that menagerie cosmetics were doing a collaboration with an ex makeup corner who has her own youtube and she's very very terrible she does a lot of like indie makeup she has been kind of back in the brand for a while so this collab makes a hell of a lot of sense they've come out with this quite pretty palette there's the serenity palette and she also has a lipstick to go with it the palette itself is $38.95 and the liquid lipstick is $14.95 what I will say is this palette was meant to come out like a year ago I recently tried menagerie cosmetics because the beautiful Brianna I love you got me the flight club palette and the lipstick and I'm totally like letting the cat out of the bag for a future video (laughs) but I loved it really liked it the liquid lipstick was a fabulous formula and I thought the formula of the palette itself was very very nice so yeah I think a lot of people have kind of been saying the eyeshadow palette itself is not like the the color story isn't wildly revolutionary but that's in the current context. A year ago, I think a lot of people would have been really, really excited about it and would have been like, oh, yes. I think people are still excited about it and people will still want to support in it, um, you know, all for that. But it just kind of sucks that things happened that that impacted the launch of this. But I think it's it's a really nice palette. It's, it's a lot of fun. I look at that and like from watching her channel and looking her at her content i can see how this speaks to her so i'm like yeah i have not tried i want to i want that seal what was it the pastel one i wanted it forever um i heard good things about it um it's not revolutionary but i do actually think that it is kind of a unique it's not just some random neutral palette that has a pop of color in it um there are some beautiful tones the swatches look really pretty um i would personally like to rearrange it a little bit but you know the only thing for me is is i'm somebody who oh i already had that i don't need it i'm not like that a lot if i want it i want it that's just how i am i'm i collect makeup so i don't care um or as i said my one of my most toxic traits is i just buy something just so i can swatch it (laughs) because like i just want to swatch it um but that being said, the only reason 
I'm kind of like, I don't know, is this actually kind of reminds me a little bit of the Circle de Loco. Yeah. Uh, and I just got that. Otherwise, if I had seen this first, I probably would have just done that and just got this. Um, but there are just some some similar tones to me. But then again, kind of be nice for a YouTube video to dupe out. I mean, definitely more affordable. <laughs> yeah. So then the next thing that we have is Musée Beauty and they have their Rococo collection. So Musée Beauty have been doing a couple of different collections of like Van Gogh and uh, Monet and stuff. So this is their Rococo one. So they have a palette, which is $45. They have three different liquid eyeshadows, which are $20 each, or you can bundle them together for $52. They have two different cream blush duos, which look pretty similar, BT dubs. They're $20 each, or you can bundle them together for $36, or you can bundle all of the items together for 152 dollars i saw this and like until i saw where it was from and i just saw the big picture with all the i seriously thought i thought it was odin's eye the moment yeah. that i saw i thought it was odin's eye i did i thought the packaging of the blushes from afar and the color and the i thought this was odin's eye. <laughs> yeah. um yeah. otherwise um i think it's a beautiful palette i think mm -hmm. it's fine <laughs> I think it's really pretty, really pretty. <laughs> and I think it's coming out at a good time as well, like coming into the summer, because people are yeah. kind of wanting those like pastel -y shades and like that bright, springy, happy, joy, joy shade. I I personally don't like pastels on me because I think because I am already the color of death, if I put pastels <laughs> on me, it does just look l like you know the corpse from the funeral home has gotten a botched makeover like it doesn't look right in my opinion I like dark tones on me that's that's what I like but I think this is quite solid like the the color story makes a lot of sense um and I, I like the packaging now I think liquid eyeshadow twenty dollars that's expensive I mean I'm not gonna buy it for that price but I will look at it you know yeah, online and i will watch people swatch it but 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 i'm not i'm not buying that, that. Now, but it, it's really pretty yeah if it's it was like one of those products that was multi-use like oh i could use it as a liquid shadow but could also use it as a lipstick then i'd be like oh okay grant yeah i'll pay 20 dollars for that mm -hmm. it's just designed. it's not enough to make you like go off on no buy like it's not that you know i have to have it but it's, I think it was pretty. If I were like looking for, I'll probably keep it in the back of my mind because I never tried this brand before. I like trying new brands. Yeah. And this would definitely, definitely speaks to me color story wise. Yeah. I, I love a pastel. It, I can't wear them. Well, I say I can't wear them. I haven't managed to make them work for me that well because they just don't show up on my skin. Next, we have Dior. Ah, Dior. It is their Dior Skin Forever Natural Bronze Powder. And they have eight shades. They're going to be $48. Which, okay, I would usually expect Dior to be more expensive than $48. So, okay, whatever. But, now don't get me wrong, bronzers, I'm not saying you have to have five million shades of bronzers. You obviously don't. You don't no. have to have as many bronzers. No as you have to have foundations or concealers but what i would the shade range still isn't great yeah like if you look at the bronzer on the deep skinned model who isn't that deep skinned can i also point out it pretty much matches her or him i'm not yeah. assuming genders here so i'm like how would that work as a bronzer no yeah it's still not that great yeah no no i just it's... always i always think is there anything there for Lupita Nyong'o? And if there exactly, exactly, I love her. Love I her. love her. <laughs> um, if I Lupita isn't being catered for, quite frankly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, not at all. This, I, I think Jackie Ina would have a hard time even matching with this. Um, I, I, so my, a lot. I guess my opinion about expensive makeup is. I don't mind spending splurging on something very pricey for something kind of high end. I just did it with Natasha and Denona. Um, there was even like, I kind of wanted to, I really wanted to try the Marc Jacobs, like, you know, coconut bronzer, that kind of stuff. There are some times where something like that really does speak to me. Usually the packaging has to be what really gets to me. Like it has to be beautiful packaging. 
this feels like this is just Dior being like, we're Dior. We're going to charge you 50 bucks for this bronzer. Have fun. So this next one, oh, sweet, merciful Zeus. Right, darn you, Kaleidos. So Kaleidos have come out with a new collection. It's coming out May 5th, 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. For my UK Irish friends, I have done the math. That is May 6th at 4 a.m. in the morning. I'm still getting, I'm, I'm obviously still getting up and buying all of these because I'm an idiot. You're not an idiot. It's beautiful. <laughs> it is. I've tried yeah. Kaleidos before, but I, I know they're good. They're just one of those brands. I don't need to try them to know that they're a good brand. I just yeah. don't. Yeah. This packaging is stunning. Like the, these uh, lipsticks with like the holographic stars on them. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. Those just, greens, those greens in there. If one of them is not called Teresa, then it is there's just something wrong. <laughs> I just, I love that there's a little bit of a pastel-y thing. Yeah. Like, I, I know I just said I'm not that into pastel, but I will happily put a little bit on the inner corner or something. I want Absolutely. to have a full look with it. But I like there's a little pop in there and there's a little bit of a grunge and I'm like, oh. And the last thing I got from Kaleidos was the Nebula palette. And oh my <laughs> Lord. That I wanted it so bad. Spectacular. So good. The quality was one hundred percent there but i can say that about anything i've ever gotten from kaleidos because i think i've got you know what the thing is is this would actually be kind of a good like little sister to the kaleidos palette it has a lot of those dark rich deep greens and blues in there and this would be that really beautiful blend out add a bit of a pastel inner corner to those tones it really would be a perfect little sister to it yeah I can see this just accompanying a lot of their um, existing palettes because they also have a nice like uh, lavender kind of palette as well. And you could pair that with it as well. And they have a nice green palette as well. And you could put that with it. So I think this yeah. makes a lot of sense with the range so far. What I really like is that they've come out with two different quads uh, of, of lipsticks. And they've been smart about it because they have one quad that's quite neutral and then one quad that's quite colorful. And I think that's smart because there's people like me who aren't that interested in neutral. I'm still gonna end up getting the neutral lipsticks because I'm an idiot. Um, but we will gravitate towards the colorful lipsticks. And then there are people who don't like colorful. I hate lipsticks. colorful lipstick. I hate it. I hate it. I am constantly saying every single day that brands need to start jumping on this colorful lipstick bandwagon and be doing it more. Stop re releasing, oh, look, we're going to release a whole new set of lipsticks and they're all the same shade. Stop that. The bottom line is, is we had the colorful lipstick king drop, you know, he, he screwed himself, okay? And we, people need to fill in that gap. And because if nothing else can be said, his lipstick range, color lipstick range was incredible. And not, I mean, it was. And still to this day, you can't, you know, find those colors anywhere else. And so people need to fill this void in right now. So whenever I see people with these colored lipsticks like this, like this beautiful tealy color in here, yes, so down for that. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm obviously getting it. I am like setting an alarm. Next one. Um, <laughs> how are you? How's it going? <laughs> all right i ask because i'm genuinely concerned this, no no you haven't seen this before i know you feel like you've seen this before but you're just imagining that you've seen this before this is the 35d the desert bouquet artistry palette no no boss mood no 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 it's not the boss mood it's like morphe gets drunk and then goes and like snacks on two of their previous palettes and then regurgitates it into the toilet and then comes up with the new palette i am starting to wonder about how palettes are created and is it like genuinely the two palettes get together and <laughs> in sort of a you know uh romantic intercourse and then a baby palette is born Make sweet palette love. Yeah. Is that what happened? Is that Morphe? Is that what's going on? Because that's like, I can understand that. I'm looking at that and I can They're just palette matchmakers. That's what they yeah. did this whole time. They're just, you know, just trying to. 
we're going to put uh, the 35 whatever and the third because I can never remember the bloody letters and what because I'm like <sighs> whatever right I'm going to put you two together and you're going to have an unimaginative baby yeah. so the really funny thing is my biggest pet peeve about this palette is this palette does not I'm I mean maybe I'm crazy it just doesn't look like a desert bouquet <laughs> palette to me I don't know. That just is not the vibe I'm getting when I see this. I don't get desert from this at all. <laughs> In addition to that, remember, there is Morphe too, and uh, they have the Hide and Peak Concealer, and they also came out with an Equalizer Foundation Primer. Then Urban Decay have put out their all-nighter lightweight loose setting powder. It is a translucent matte finish, and it is $33. It is what it is. Yeah, yeah. Urban Decay is good. I mean, they have good face products. Their all-nighter line is pretty well loved. This will do well with the people who like their all-nighter if it actually is good. Mm -hmm. I'll wait for some reviews to come out of it. And when I do need a new face powder, maybe I'll try it. It is it is what it is. Meh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ooh. All right. Hi. Is this? Is this? What are you doing? Is that so beautiful, baby? Hi. Okay. My top pretty. Yes. Hello. 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 Everyone, your balloon nut. Should I guess? Everyone, look at my bottom and my love. <laughs> this is from Pink Leaf Cosmetics, and I thought I had gotten away from the damn 420 BS. This is their what? Smoky <laughs> collection, and it's a revolutionary nude palette, and there's lashes and lipsticks. Bored now. Yeah, Evil Willow said it the best. Yeah. This is the end of April. It. I do not want to see any more cannabis, 420, anything like, I just, can we just put it to bed? Not just for this year, but for, for forever. Can we just be done with it? Okay, if you're going to be a 420 palette, do a 420 palette. Yeah. Do some green, do some whatever. Make it, make it 420, okay? If you're going to do a smoky palette, do a smoky palette. Smoke and mirrors, like, you know, it, it, up in smoke or whatever with uh you know the grays and all this is like a whole bunch of browns and golds i'm confused about why this is 420 or smoky or why you think i'm gonna pay 20 dollars for a nine pan palette when i can go and get something with superb quality for 12 bucks or less like see that's the thing it's not even a smoky palette i wouldn't know how to do a smoky eye look with that this is not a smoky palette at all it's a neutral palette it's a brown gold palette like yeah. nothing this, about is, this. this is where they've arbitrarily just stuck a name and a theme onto a palette <laughs> and it's <just> ridiculous <laughs> more, and more by this than i was the morphe <laughs> Going on uh, with the rest of our lives, and this is Flirt with Me Boutique, and this is a Gangster's Wife Palette Part Two. <laughs> Did Part One do that well that they had to come out with a Part Two? Like, was it that much of a roaring success? Right, I'm going to say it right now. I think this is great um, because, like, we really shouldn't be glamorizing gang life, and this really. This helps with that because this is not glamorous or interesting. Um, so I think it it's really hideous. dissuades people from going down the gang route. So I was wondering where you were going with that because I was like looking I at do, this I going. Too. This mm. is this is like straight up nasty. This is the grossest thing I've seen in forever. Like the theme, everything about this. What is this color scheme? <laughs> this liver. This is a poop palette. You buy this so you can take it to your doctor to describe what your shit was this morning when you have a. Indicate <laughs> on the chart. <laughs> this is the color it was, doctor. That's what this is. But like it's so badly edited. I mean, several it's colors. All so bad. I don't even know where to start with the badness of this. Again, how is this <laughs> part two? What was part one? I am. I, I don't care enough to look it up because. I'm, I'm getting heated. I'm getting heated. 
Next we have Maybelline and they have their Fit Me Tinted Moisturizer. It's apparently a natural coverage, natural look, $7.98. So apparently they have 14 shades on their website, but 10 of them are available at Walmart. Now, because it's a tinted moisturizer, you don't exactly need to have a thousand shades in that so like that's not a big deal what i do think is good is see the very very dark moisturizer yes well done yep well bloody done it's not about how many shades you have it's what you do with the ones you do have exactly and this is good yeah. like they go the darkest one is a tinted moisture it's gonna work on a really really deep skin tone mm -hmm. yeah and for that price as well even if you don't find something yeah. that exactly your shade you can just buy two and mix them yeah, and like a tinted moisturizer it's it's only it's only to give you a tint so it doesn't have to be a dead-on color match mm. yep i think good time to release this before summer yeah i think tinted moisturizers are a good thing right before summer um yeah fit me yeah. is a well-loved range of products good hit that's good yeah. i think yeah. they're really yeah. well so this next one, no, you haven't seen this before. I promise you, you haven't. I know it looks like you have, but you haven't. Charlotte assures me this is new, okay? Personally? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, okay. obviously. Myself and Charlotte, we meet every week. Like this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Darling. <laughs> darling. So she has seen two palettes. One is Glowing Beauty and then the other one is Pretty Blush. They're 75 dollars each. What in the sweet merciful Zeus am I looking at? Devil's advocate. I'm gonna be the devil's advocate here. Go for it. I'm gonna buy this in a heartbeat. Like not even not even a thought process. However, let's face it, the majority percentage of the pie chart of makeup people yeah. don't go, don't go for this. Okay, they don't. And this is a good travel thing. It's something that, like, if you are just a businesswoman who travels a lot and you want high-end, good quality, one palette, you don't buy a lot of stuff, you just need one or two palettes in your whole collection, um, this is nice. Charlotte Tilbury hits it out of the park in quality every time. Pretty packaging. I would never purchase it in a million years, but I can see, I can see the audience. Yeah. 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 Yeah, there's that, you know, if you're a diehard Charlotte Tilbury fan. Yeah. Or if, if or not even if you're a diehard, if you're if that's your thing, yeah, you're gonna buy that because I mean, if it wasn't the eye watering amount it is, it's the kind of thing that I would buy as a basic boring yeah. person. Like it's a it's a good you know, it's pretty. It's pretty. But I'm I'm not gonna spend I'm not gonna remortgage my house. A face palette. Yeah. Yeah, right. Right. I would I would also say that because these palettes have finishing powders and stuff in it as well, like again, it's this is yeah. a, a couple of people. But yeah, I get it. It makes sense for Charlotte. Ch uh, Chaza is not gonna come out with like a bright, colourful palette anytime soon. And if no. she, and if she does, I would actually be worried for her. Yeah. Like, are you all right, love? Is this a cry for help? Are you in a hostage situation? So yeah, this, it's just not her aesthetic yeah, at all. It speaks to her brand, but it, it does just feel like I have seen this from her before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think also sure. I am just like neutral blind that they all start to look the same to me. And I'm like... That's fair. Color pop, day of the pop of the color. They have added some more quads, but this time it's all about the cheeks. So they have three different finishes, five quads essentially. And they have a super shock highlighter, a matte pressed powder blush, a satin pressed powder blush, and I think like a, a sort of a bronzy type thing in there as well. Anyways, they have five of those, and I think they're meant to be $10 each or something like that. Don't quote me because I couldn't find exact information on it, but uh, I don't hate them. I yeah. love Colourpop. Yeah. I'm biased, I'll be honest with you. Like, Colourpop's one of my favorite, if not my favorite, like, brand. Yeah, I think they're. As far as, like, as, far as like what I own, I mean, this deep one looks deep. It, they feel like it's a good range. Um, I, I will probably pick one of these up. 
from from affordable to Pat McGrath. Hello, how are you doing? We have some no blushes. There's some quads of uh, eyeshadows, and that's apparently a limited edition, and they have a highlighter and some lipsticks, etc. But the main bulk of the collection is basically these divan blushes. Yeah, it's apparently coming end of May. I'm looking at that orange. I can't. I'm very broken. It just they speak to me. You can see again these colors work on dark skin tones you could just see how pretty they are like even the lighter shades you could see how they could be used on a darker skin tone she's done it well i mean it's gonna cost a ridiculous amount oh yes oh yeah yeah but they're they're pretty yeah they're really they're pretty, pretty. they're the kind of thing i'd buy and just like not want to use because it yep it's it's pretty. Even this is a this is a nice first blush launch yeah even the Japan just looks so pretty. Mm -hmm. I think she's she's done it well. Um, I'm not going to pick it up because I do, I can't justify spending that much on blush. I just I just can't. Yeah, we don't have any we'll kind of that it is, but like, I don't think you'll have cheap thirty dollars. Yeah, that's that's the way that I'm I'm looking at it. But um, I think it's a nice range. She's she's put together some nice bits. Now in terms of the eyeshadows and the highlighters, I'm kind of like meh. They're not really interesting. Yeah. They're like you know I wouldn't do a double take over them and be like get into my basket. Right. But it's you know it's path. You know fair play to her. Won't, won't hate her for. Me. And uh, the last thing we're going to talk about in depth is the season of the cake liners. More cake liners. And uh, this one is split pan. Right. So I both love and hate this palette because I love the colors in it and I really enjoy cake liners. But why? Why? Just put a bit of plastic between them. So I'm gonna I'm gonna double the advocate for a second. Okay. Because I, I do face painting. Yeah. Okay. 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 So the reason this is is you take a brush and when you wet it it pulls both colors together on the brush and that way if you try to make like a flower it ombres the flower in one swipe okay this is awesome looking yeah um i don't know their quality though because i've never heard of them before but i mean it's pretty i mean it's cool looking i uh, uh by the way because i didn't say it this is lash dupe and it's a uk yeah. brand so i i like it i do like it like I said, the only thing I don't like is the whole split pan thing because I know I can see the rationale behind it, but I think if you're buying most people, most people right. buying cake liners aren't going to be using it to do like ombre effects. You know, um, I know that like a couple of people are a bit annoyed of like, oh, there's so many cake liners, so many cake liners. But the thing is, that means there's loads more competition, and that means you can then find something that works for you. Because for a long time, we only had Suva, and I'm not saying anything against Suva, I, I quite like Suva. But they were the only ones in the market. And if you didn't like them, didn't like your for their formula or didn't like their ethos or whatever it is, that was it. You were stuck. Whereas now you have plenty of choice. It also means that in a market where there's lots of other things, um, it's the opposite of the whole point of monopoly. It means that it brings the prices down. So it's good for a consumer. So I, I don't get too annoyed when I see a proliferation of these things because I'm like, this eventually transfers onto us and it, it works out but uh that, that's it in terms of the stuff that is actually worth having a little chat about so we are going on to the lightning round and can i turn off to take a phone call because she's a very important person so it's me and Tess, and we're, we're going to feel this, guys. Don't worry. You're left in very capable hands. So first thing we have is a florist, and they apparently have a light as air powder. P. Louise have two new coloured bases. So one is keeping it khaki. The other one is purple passion, and they're £10 each. They have also added some kind of shades to their brows, and they have included a new base shade, which is 2.5. We then have Moira Cosmetics, and they they have a new lavish pressed finishing powder and they are $10 each. So this is Pout and Shout and they are an indie brand based in the UK and they basically upcycle components. I like the idea of it and I like that there's cats on it. That appeals to me. I do think, oh God, don't hate me, but it does feel a little bit like a craft project that you did in secondary school or high school. I also just don't like the colour story. But do you know what? Kudos to them for like upcycling things. 
We then have Jasmine Beauty Secrets. This is a new site, new brand, and they basically have a lot of glosses. We have Folklore, and they have seven color cake makeup palettes. So they're essentially just like little face palettes for you. JLo Beauty is oh, coming out with dietary supplements. Look, I'm going to say it right now. Don't bother with dietary supplements unless you are genuinely not getting in your nutrients, in which case you should go to your doctor first. If you are getting these uh, supplements, do you know what you end up with? Really expensive pee because your body works out all of the excess. And the worst thing you can actually do is to go and have too much vitamin A or vitamin D. It screws with your liver and your kidneys. No, this is stupid. Come on now. We then have Spoiled Lips Cosmetics and they have their little high maintenance and that is coming out from may 15th we then have indie beat cosmetics and they have 18 shades of duochrome shimmers and this is coming well this will be out now as you're watching queen melissa's cosmetics and they have the santa anna eyeshadow palette and that is 35 dollars. and i just keep thinking of santa anna wins from crazy ex-girlfriend then clarence has a uv and pollution screen that protects the skin from the damaging effects of five everyday pollutants and apparently that's the first ever but they also have some extra makeup stuff it's their frozen summer collection so there's a bronzing powder an eyeshadow quad an icy primer and a fixed makeup spray then jessup has a couple of different things they have their rainbow comprehensive makeup tools kit and you know they're just like different colors kind of cute and they also have some little little sponges be perfect have collaborated with mrs glam and they have a 10 second tan a self tanning mousse in the shade dark which is obviously perfect for me then we have cara beauty and i'm seeing more and more colored lashes gotta say kind of here for it and cara beauty are doing these in 15 different styles and they are seven dollars 99 each but you can get 10 percent off with the code dupe that i really like it kind of well, looks very reasonable very yeah. reasonable then lunar beauty is coming out with some new sponges they're ten dollars each god god darn you tess because you tagged me in this this is uh, this is La La Land Cosmetics and it's the spring. <laughs> I love triggering you. It's so fun. It hurts my brain. The mirror. Why is the mirror so tiny? <laughs> Who is that a mirror? They couldn't oh. have too much in the mirror. They didn't have <laughs> budget left over for a full mirror. Then Profusion have the Over the Moon collection or To the Moon collection. So they're the big, like, hexagon palette i don't know i'm not very good at chips and then some other smaller ones copacetic really just kind of almost panicked this week and just kind of bleh, and kind of stuff so here's the first bit they have these flaky shadows and you can get all nine of them for forty dollars or you can get one for five dollars so that's actually very reasonably priced mm -hmm. they are also coming out with three different nail polishes it's part of their aurora borealis collection they are cute if you like nail stuff then they have uh, some different quads they have the chocolate diamond quad and that has two bronzers and two highlighters they also have the aquamarine quad this is what the little mermaid palette should have looked like and uh, oh i think this is really pretty this is the fairy quad oh just the aesthetics around that it's adorable i love that yeah, it's so cute. It's cute. Olivia Palermo, I don't know who this is, so please don't hate me. She is apparently dropping a beauty brand and that's coming out May 6th. Then we have Sally Henson, who are collaborating with Disney on the Cruella film. I have to say, though, it reminded me that Cruella is coming out in May and I'm very excited about that. Then Fenty Skin have come out with the new Butter Drop. I, I feel like I'm too white to say butter, butter, butter drop, butter drop. Anyways. I, I tried butter drop whipped oil body cream and yeah it has like shea butter mango butter all of that sort of thing $39 or you can get the refill for $35 right so this is Notorium Skin and this is a multi-peptide moisturizer and I, I just can't forget that this was a brand that was right it was promoted by a woman she was like oh my god I've just discovered this and it's the most amazing thing ever blah, blah, blah. I can't remember what her name was but she neglected to tell people that it was her bloody brand when she was promoting it. <laughs> so I just find it shady AF. So, you know, just, just felt. Yeah. 
said. Then we have Origins and they have their avocado lip butter. It's $18. Suva have some more flip pan. They've called them their doodle doos, which I think is really cute. So there's <laughs> blue, blue yellow and doodle D, which is the pink orange. That's cute. <laughs> I'll go away with it. They're $16 each. Dragon Beauty is coming out with Mother's Day stuff. And yeah, it's just basically a collection of lip liners and glosses and stuff. So Meh. Nick, the butter gloss in the shade Cinnamon Roll, and it's five dollars. Um, I mean, as I'm more excited about the cinnamon buns underneath. To be fair, yeah, the cinnamon cinnamon rolls are what's stealing that picture. Black Moxie Cosmetics then have their Sunset Collection, and it has some single shadows and loose pigments. We then have Kester Black and they've released four new shades of liquid lipsticks. Give Me Glow, we've talked about this a couple of times because they were like sneak peeking this for a while. And this is their pastel dreams. Somebody commented down below last week that they were like, I love the way that you say pastel. So I'll say it for you again. Pastel, pastel, pastel. Yes, I like this. I like that there's a matte and then a shimmer shade that cards <laughs> so pretty yeah mm, mm. we have edge beauty cosmetics and they have some glosses in really weird colors then we have glaminatrix cosmetics and they have some multi chromes i believe those are like australian dollars um because they're an australian brand bedrock cosmetics and have the rock formation eyeshadow palette 25 oh. Posh Culture have the Colour Me Africa eyeshadow palette and it's $20. Glisten Cosmetics have some liners. So five of them are matte and seven of them are UV. £6.50 each. We have Munica Lashes and they have the Stoner Bay eyeshadow palette for all of your Stoner Bay needs. And there is the Stoner Bay hand mirror three styles of lashes don't know how they didn't, didn't manage to get the stoner thing in there and a stoner bay highlighter palette i will say i have seen that exact highlighter palette from i don't know how many quote-unquote indie brands that aren't really mm. brands that are just buying this alia cosmetics then have two new eyeshadow palettes there bonite and hermos and they're 35 dollars each they're available now metamorphosis bf have eight new matte liquid lipsticks they're eight dollars 99 each Mika Beauty Shop have some new loose pigments. So there's the Diamond Dust collection that has 22 shades. They have 11 new chameleon pigments and six shades of pastel pigments, which I don't have a picture for, but just use your imaginations. You'll be grand, lads. Then we have Hella's Beauty and the Bunama eyeshadow palette. That is 20 US dollars. Then we have Elsewhere Cosmetics and they have an anniversary lip collection. So there's six different glosses. Yassi Lashes have collaborated with Mocha P Beauty and they have the Zodiac eyeshadow palette and it's $29.99. DJ's Unique Boutique have the Take Me to the Beach loose pigment bundle. And uh, there's three mattes and three shimmers and you can bundle them together for $24. I did get tagged in this one an awful lot, but I took the executive decision because I didn't want to look at it for very long. This is the sweetest reality cosmetics. It's not a sweet reality because this exists in it. And this is the Monster Shakes eyeshadow palette. Yeah, it is a monster. It's terrible. And it's what is it supposed to be? I don't get it. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I don't want to know what it is. I just want to be done with it. It irks me that there are shades of purple in there that are duping themselves. Then we have Peachy Queen Cosmetics and they're clearly trying to do a Golden Girls thing. And this is their Thank You For Being A Friend eyeshadow palette. And it is $29.99. Blesthetics. They have a new palette. It's the Melanin Queen palette. Beauty Blender are constantly innovating and they have this masterpiece. It is an aquamarine beauty blender for the low, low price of $20. Crime Crime then are coming out with a golden wet cherry lip scrub. It's $16. XZX Cosmetics have a full face brush set for $35. I wonder what the quality is like. Because that's not bad for a full that's set. Not that's not bad. Then My Little Oni Cosmetics have the Gamer Girl palette. What? $19.99 and same shade of yellow three times. Hmm. <laughs> three of the same yellows in this palette. Oh my God. 
How do you dupe yourself when you have nine pounds? We have J Heartbreak Cosmetics who have collaborated with Lavender Boutique and they have their Clouded Heart Lip Glosses collection and there are 12 shades. Galore Lux Beauty have their Luxotic Eyeshadow Palette which is very difficult to pronounce. We have Tommy Tanuka inspired Seagull uh, or Seagull, don't know how to pronounce that and they have some new singles. That green speaks to me. Beautiful. And they also have another set of five. There's a lovely pinky shade in there the very top that I'm just mm. wouldn't that be a beautiful highlighter in all Vidable cosmetics why do they have such a hard name to pronounce they have the hello gorgeous eyeshadow palette and it's $18 forever purple cosmetics have their smoke and slay 420 eyeshadow palette rebellious unicorn cosmetics have their folklore collection and it has 12 shades that's available now Dior then <clears throat> have some star edition lipsticks so they're four shades and they're apparently refillable but it's a limited edition star embossing ritual de fee have their smoke and cinder radiant body oil for 39 dollars, and then they have the moon glow which is a limited edition for 42 dollars, or you can get the two together for 81 dollars, which does not save you anything tart then are coming out with their H2O lip duos. So there's lip glosses and lip tints and there are three shades. Pretty Lit Beauty have their Stoner Girl palette. Then we have OC Beauty Shop and they have their classic Mi Chas, Mi, Mi Has palette. Please forgive me because I think that's Spanish and I don't speak Spanish. So I, I apologize. We then have Beauty Shakers and they have their Blossom palette and there's 16 shades in that. Persona Cosmetics have their Dream Stick Cream Bronzers in two shades. $26 each. Creature Cosmetics, they have their Oh The Horror eyeshadow palette. And I assume they mean the horror was the swatches. Makeup Maniac Cosmetics have a multi-chrome eyeliner in the shade Sun Drum. And that is $25. So it's quite interesting. But I think their next one could be an interesting one. It's their Berries and Cream eyeshadow palette. It's $28. I think this is a good alternative if you are no longer using Jefferson Starship Blood Sugar. Then we have Wink With Ink and they have seven pigmented neon stackable eyeshadow lipstick eyeliner or body paints. So it's just pigments essentially we then have asgard queen cosmetics and they have their sword fight lip gloss dollars <gasps> 50 on etsy and i i need it now then we have notoriously morbid and they have the path of the dark side i do think they've missed a trick because they're coming out on april 30th and they really should have come out on may 4th rose company cosmetics then have their chromatic palette it's 49 dollars 99 i will say that needed to be edited further because a lot of those are the same then they also have their petal lux gloss in the shade state of mind $17.99 rose company again and they have their dazzle pollen loose pigment in the shade Uchi Wally <laughs> we have Kaima cosmetics and they have six new shades of crystal pigments $12 each. Live Glam have some pastel lipsticks and they are $7 each. That's it in terms of the new makeup releases. So that means we're on to the sneak peek, lads. I got tagged in this one an awful lot. And this is Anna Sui. This is their summer collection. So it seems that they have some blush duos, nail polishes, and yeah, just some general bits and pieces. I'm going to say it the blush duo of the orange and the yellow. I Ooh. love that. I love that. To try this brand so bad because their packaging is my aesthetic and like I need it. <laughs> Magical Makeup UK then are coming out with a duochrome that is a loose powder and it's apparently coming soon. This is 90s Baby Cosmetics and they have their chat room and my zone palettes coming soon. We then have Rosewood Cosmetics and they have some lip glosses and some new highlighters. Then B Bella Beauty have the Angles of Illumination and this is a 15 pan duochrome palette and it's going to retail for $89. They don't have a date yet. Kind of like it. Kind of like it's beautiful. It's very expensive. Oh, this one. Ah, oh, sweet merciful Zeus. So this is a story beauty. And they're coming out with two different palettes. And this is their Sensational palette. Which they say is inspired by the game Genshin Impact. And our lovely girl Amy pointed out. Huh, hells no, it isn't. Because I've seen this exact palette. Done. I have this palette. I literally have it behind me. Yeah. 
so dodgy AF. Then, huh, okay, this is Moonlight Beauty, and this is the Attack on, uh, well, they said Attack on the Titan inspired palette. It's not Attack on the Titan, it's Attack. It's Attack on Titan. Attack on Titan, guys. Sorry, it, it did kind of get to me because I really enjoy Attack on Titan. And I will say, when I look at this colour story, it makes a lot of sense for Attack it on Titan. It really, it does. really does. Can I just say, I think they did really well to put Armin in as that shade. That makes yep. so much sense to me. And I also love the Aaron. Uh, I think that's it's like the exact colour of their, their jackets and yeah, stuff. It's, it it's really nice. Yeah, so... 10 out of 10. I really like this. Then uh, Suko have revealed some swatches of some very interesting quads that are part of the summer collection. We have Dior and they're coming out with uh, some single shadows. And we have Face Glaze Beauty and they're releasing 20 multi-chrome shadows at some point. They don't look great in the pan. That really washed out rubbish photo. Um, and then Fenty Beauty uh, announced today that they're coming out with something. Um, so it's... What is it? <laughs> Don't tell me I need to buy something else. Then we have Shine by SD Cosmetics and they are launching these singles in May. Very pretty looking. Very pretty. We're getting more... I mean, this has been sneak peeked for a really long time. They've really drawn this out. This is the collaboration between Temptalia and Sydney Grace Cosmetics. I like the colour story, but I saw this about three months ago and I I right. didn't to come out with it. Then we have You Can Be and they have this Mirror Mirror palette. Do you need a hug? Because <laughs> there's an entire line of the exact same shade. Do, do you need a hug? I do, yeah. I know, I know you're going through, I know this is, this is, this is, this is, this is, I know. I understand, honey. It's okay. We're here for you. You can be. There's still time. You can not release this. <laughs> Please don't. Um, just don't. <laughs> then playing in makeup by Yolando have this relentless eyeshadow palette, and oh my god, that blue! Cool. I just want that blue so bad. Then uh, JD Glow Cosmetics have given a sneak peek at some galaxy shadows coming. So they're like literally being made. Very exciting. Then It's Bell Cosmetics ha apparently have a new loose pigment. And this is the shade Cotton Cloud. And it shifts from purple to a baby blue. And that is coming soon. That's it. That's it. That is that is all of the newy, newy, newness, goodness for this week. How do we feel? Uh, good, bad, indifferent, some things we want, some things we don't want. Um, exactly. You know, the general, just, you know the jazz, I am putting both of these lovely ladies' uh, socials down below. Do follow them. Just do. You know, at this point, you really should just be listening to the things that I say and following my orders, my directions, some might say, to the letter without question. And also, because I have to get it in. Best. Uh, you are radiant. Best t-shirt. Well, if nothing else, you need to follow them because of the t-shirt. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so you know the drill. Go find them. Uh, but that's the end of the video. Do please like, comment and subscribe. Do please share. Because sharing is caring. And of course it's an STD, in which case, you know, wrap it up. Don't be gross. That's it. That's the end of the video. We'll see you guys in the next one.